Hello guys, welcome. This is a class on introduction to C Sharp and .NET. So in this lecture, we are going to cover what is the difference between C Sharp and .NET, the architecture of .NET application, then we are going to build our first C Sharp application. So the difference between C Sharp and .NET, C Sharp is a programming language, while .NET is a framework for developing application on Windows. So it's not only it's not only C Sharp that uses .NET framework, but we also have other programming languages that uses .NET framework. An example we have .vb.net, C++, and F Sharp. So next we are going to learn more on on .NET framework. So .NET framework has two major components. That is a common language runtime, which manages the execution of program. And then we have the .NET Framework class libraries. So these are classes within dot within the .NET Framework. So let's let's get to know more about CLR. So CLR is the execution engine that handles the running application. So other programming languages are a good example in in a C family. We have C plus plus and C. When you run your code, the compiler convert your code directly into a machine code so this application will not if you run if you compile that application in your machine that application will not run on a machine with different different hardware architecture or operating system so how clr work so first the compiler convert your code in into our intermediate language code so intermediate language code is independent from any machine. So then it's the work of common language runtime to convert your code into a machine code. So because intermediate language code is independent from any machine, so when you build and compile your code while your code in your machine, so that application will run on any machine regardless of if that machine has a different hardware architecture or operating system. So next, we are going to look on the architecture of the .NET application. So an application consists of building block called classes. So a class is a container that has data, attributes, that is attributes, and method, which is the function. So, so the attributes are the state, represent the state of application and method and the behavior, behavior of the application. So a class, so we can use an example we can have a class of a person. So a person has name, age, city, so that is the data or the attributes. So the, a person can perform the following function. A person can walk, a person can talk. Another example, we have a class of a car. So a car can have the following data or attributes. So, uh, so a car can have a model or color. So, and then you can do this, you can perform this this function on a car. You can start or move a car. So an application can have more than one classes. We can use an example as for a simple login application. So for a simple login application, you can have different classes performing various functions. For example, uh, you can have, the, for example, this function like getting user data, processing the data, or defining user data. So as the classes grows, you may need to a way to organize, you may need a way to organize your classes. So in this case, we use assembly. So not, uh, sorry, we use a uh, namespace. So let's just go to the next session where we learn about partitioning, partitioning our code. So as the classes cross in your application, you may need a way to organize your classes according to functionality. So in this case, we use namespace. So a namespace is a container that has a, that has a set of related classes. So also you can have you can have more than one namespace. A good example is in .NET framework you can have a namespace which is responsible for database, another namespace responsible for security, and many more. So in this, 
in this you can group your namespace into into assembly so assembly also is a container that is a container that has a set of related related namespaces so application and appli your application can have one or more assembly so in next session we are going to start coding and to see all this concept so i'm using visual studio so here i'm going to create a new project so on this screen on your left you're going to see the template so this shows what uh, what type of application you can create in c -sharp. we have windows web android for the phone and many more so you can choose the type of application you want to create so in our case for a learning purpose we use a console application so a console application is a simple application that helps you to start uh, coding so in this i'm going to give it a name let's say my app so at the bottom we have location in which indicate the location of your app you can change the location using the boss we have the solution name so this uh, this the solution name here uh, it automatically take uh, your project name so a solution can have more than one project but in our case we only have one project so this is a simple this is a simple application then you click ok So for this uh, code editor will open and on your right you'll be able to see the solution explorer so uh, most of the action here are not doesn't mean you have to use all the action but uh, let me just uh, have an overview to help you start navigating through your code so uh, here on the solution explorer help you to navigate navigate through your project and here is the code editor for you to start coding so here at the top we have the solution the solution name which uh, it can have more than one project for now we have one project we have the project name which is my app then we have the properties so properties here we have the assembly info.cs so here here shows the assembly that will produce when you compile this code so for now this is not important so uh, so for here you can have the attribute of the assembly the versioning so this file is important when for example you want other people to use assembly so in that case you'll be able to give appropriate uh, title description and also the version so for now this is a simple application so we're just going to leave it like that so next we're going to see the reference we have we've seen different uh, references here so this comes by default this are the assembly that your project is currently pointing to so these are the assembly within .NET framework so we are going to see on how we're going to use them on our code so next we have the app config so this is an XML file which help you to configure your application. For example, configure the connection string to your database or do some setting to your application. And next, this is the, the program.cs file. So this file, I'll be able to, here I'll be able to start uh, coding. So I'm going to just explain you an overview of all this so at the top we have the using statement so before I explain on this so let me just explain this uh, concept of namespace so namespace have you learned is a container of related classes so currently we have 
our namespace called my app. So inside this namespace, so uh, also note that in C sharp we 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 surround a, a block of code with curly braces. So you'll be able to see we have surrounded these namespaces with curly braces. So here within this namespace we have only one class. So so you'll be able to you'll, in this namespace, namespace you'll be able to access any class within this namespace. So if you want to to access a class outside in this namespace, you 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 you're supposed to import that class by use of using statement. So for example, for this one by default, our code is importing is importing namespace from 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 .NET framework. So, so this is a class called uh, program. So this is created by default when you create a console application. So within this class also is enclosed by curly braces. So we have only one method called main. So this is the, an entry method of your application when you run your code. So when you compile, when you run code, the compiler will only check the code inside this main method. So this main method you declared static, so this will be able to, to learn more on the later lecture. And then and the method has the input and output. So in our case, we have the, out, the input of string array called arg arguments. Then we have a we are turning nothing, so by using void. So I'm going to start writing a code. So also before I start, you should not uh, C sharp is case sensitive. So because this is an entry method in our application, uh, if for example you write a different name here, so a compiler will not know that this is the main method. Or for example, you change m to small m, so your compiler will not, will not realize this day. Uh, this is the main method. So you should be keen on that. So we're going to start writing our code. So let's write console. So console is a class. So after, after writing console, you'll be able to see using statement has been highlighted. So here we are using a class that a class within system and space which is C system is a .NET framework and namespace so to access the method within this class we click on dot so you'll be able to see various methods so for now we just want to write something for this for this simple application we just want to want to write something on our console so to write we just call the method called write line which you which you put which optional text parameter so for now we want to pass string a string here let's say hello then click save so then run your code so when you want to run your code and at the top so we have start then click start So our code has run, so you can see here, hello world. So this is what is called, so this window is what is called uh, a console application. So thank you guys for watching. Let's meet in our later lecture.